Then the second level, conscious incompetence. This is where the fog on the mirror starts to clear, and you begin to recognize that the choices you're making are leading to the outcomes that you don't want. See, in that first level, there's no correlation of choices and outcomes. So the first level is unconscious incompetence. The second level is conscious incompetence. The third level now is conscious competence. This is where, with enough heightened awareness, you start to make conscious choice, different choices. But it's a lot of hard work. It feels like a strain. And that's why, as a life coach, one of the services that I provide is I love that one-on-one -on -one contact I have with clients because when they want to give up and don't see any success, I'm there to tell them that there is success. I can see it. How many of you have seen progress in other people who wanted to give up? Right? And we're all too close to our own stuff. So that's one of the benefits of working with a coach. And the last level of competence is unconscious competence. This is where you now have honed this consciously by choice so that you are implementing the choices that you want and getting the desired outcomes. Now it flows with ease. So the keys to success, to achieve your success, willingness to let go of what you currently know. See, there's that resistance. Yeah, but we've always done it this way. Or, you know, this is the way I've always been. Well, then that's what you'll always be unless you are willing to let go of it. Commitment to lifelong learning. This means on a continual daily basis. What are you listening to? What are you reading? Who do you surround yourself with? The willingness to make mistakes and learn from them. This is one of my huge ones, which is a make mistake. Oh, my gosh. But you've got to be willing to make mistakes. Successful people tell you they've learned more from their mistakes than they have their success. And yet, what do most of us try to avoid? The very thing that's going to help us learn and grow. And the last one is to create like-minded connections. Because we become a reflection of the people that we spend the most time with. So who are you spending the most time with? When you apply these keys to success,